we're going to go ahead and get started with um, a new animal tutorial and this one is for Carrie. So this one by request is going to be a hippo and like all of our other tutorials we're going to go ahead and start off with the general shapes. So first I like to draw kind of the biggest shape that I see which is really the it's like a circle for the entire backside of our hippo. And I'm actually using the reference photo of Fiona, the hippo from the Cincinnati Zoo. So I'm going to just start calling her Fiona to make it easier. So you have the overall shape that um, is her body. And then we're going to go ahead and draw her head, which is kind of closer to the top, right in the middle. And then her snout over here and you have her two ears all right and then underneath go and sometimes I might have you can adjust for proportions but you kind of get the general idea and then you have her legs which are you know again think either cylinder or rectangle and like a little half moon shape. And here's another leg on this side. And another half moon, but pointing more that direction. And here I'm gonna just kind of erase this construction line a little bit because I probably made her body a little bit too big. Um, So we'll do it like that and then in the back you're gonna see that you'll see her back leg okay so now that we've done the overall shape of Fiona we can go in and start you know really refining some of those basic shapes so before we go in and do all the eyes and everything we'll go ahead and just get some parts of it kind of put down so you have her ears, which are shaped like this, and you can start really anywhere, um, any point of interest for you. And then here's the other ear. And you just kind of follow along and see what the shape looks like. So here with her, when you're looking at her technically right eye, but when you're looking at the paper, the left side, it comes up a little like that. And then there's her, her snout. And then the bottom of her lips. Okay, and then here underneath, you're gonna see she kind of has some folds. So it's like you have a, almost like a, a very soft, V shape, not like a U, but more like a V shape. And then here's another kind of V shape underneath. So now we've kind of gotten that part done. And then what we want to do here is you just want to, you know, create the rest of the line. And for me, I know that I made probably the circle just a tad too big, but it gives you a general idea. You know, you can always bring, bring it in just a little. And that's the thing with drawing, you know, you're always going to have to adjust, like your first go is never going to be exactly right, but you know, that's okay. That's where you, you know, look at the reference picture and just do a quick double check. So we're going to go ahead now and draw the trunks in. Just soften up some of those lines. And then here we can go through and you know erase some of those construction lines. Like for example, I just made, you know, the very first mark or the shape that I put down was a little too large. So I was able to just go in and kind of clean it up. You know, once you have the head in, you sort of know where the rest of it is going to go. So there we go. We really have Fiona the hippo mostly done and you can tell um, 
what it is. So the next part is we're going to go ahead and draw in the face. So let's erase some of these other construction lines. And something that's important to note is it's, it's good to have a good eraser um, because you do need to make a lot of marks when you're drawing and you don't want it end up, you know, having all these stray marks to where you start losing track of what you're drawing and the, the overall shape. Okay, so we have that. And then now we're gonna go ahead and draw the snout in. Looks like Fiona has, her nostrils are like, they're like little raindrops. That's the shape. And because, you know, the right side is a little bit closer to you, you're going to make that a little bit bigger compared to the other side. And then we can soften this part up just a tad. All right, and then we'll do the eyes. This one, you almost can't see it very well because it's, you know, she's turned away from you. And then on this side, see, and to to place it, it always kind of helps sometimes to, to sort of draw a line like that, to know like that's sort of the shape of her head and you can place it somewhere along here. Okay, and it looks like she has her eyebrows. Okay, and then again, we'll erase this construction line, that guideline. Um, there we go. Looks like her snout comes in a little bit more. So we have overall the general shape and then the hippo they kind of have a like this part of their mouth there we go just to they're you know like like very like soft looking so you want to just round your corners and soften up a lot of those edges wherever you can. So there you have it. You have the general shape and everything you need to go ahead and, oh, we didn't finish the back leg. And it looks like they have a little half moons back there also. So there we go. There we have the hippo. And now we'll go back in and start coloring.